HP offer converged, hyper-converged, traditional architecture. Is there anything else that HP do that maybe make HP stand out? Yeah, um, from a uh, traditional converged, hyper-converged perspective, we also offer the composability, which is uh, a product category that we've created. Um, but I think for me, one of the leading lights is around our software-defined networking solution in, when we acquired a company called Plexi, which we've now called Composable Fabric. Um, so really uh, a network that's aware of workloads designed for the data center. So um, you might have heard a lot of talk around east-to-west traffic. Yep. Um, so really a, to address those key issues. Um, so, so it should be really revolutionizing how networks are designed in data centers. So we do no longer have um, really complex three-tiered network designs from routers, switches, sand switches. It's a flat architecture, so uh, a really revolutionary product that's out in there. Could you tell me a bit more about that, that, that east-to-west traffic and how that looks? I think a lot of the leading analysts are saying that almost 90% of data is going server to server now. Yeah. So the reason east to west traffic is important is it's that server to server communication. We're no longer talking about north to south um, traffic where you'd have a server and then a client at the bottom. Sure. So making sure that the server racks can talk together without having bottlenecks between them. Um, so there's other stats where um, the design of the old school leaf and spine um, designs, you're probably getting 10% utilization of the network traffic on one rack and then you might be getting 60 on another. And what we've noticed with composable fabric is keeping um, the maximum throughput, so like getting it more to the 80% mark across everything rather than just creating those um, bottlenecks in terms of peaks and troughs.